Hello, welcome back to the channel. Coming up in this episode. And this is, this is gonna be interesting. And I'm gonna buy you a breakfast. Me and you. What do you want? What do you mean what do I want? Well, you're after something, aren't you? Well, you know this is gonna be good. So let's get into it. Cue the intro. Well, today is a big day for me because I made a video talking about a trip, a plan I've got, and it's basically a thousand pounds or less big uh, capacity CC motorcycles where we're going to ride them like the compass around the UK as quickly as possible. Now, I've put that video up on Patreon. It's not yet up currently on YouTube. So the time you've seen this, you would have known exactly what I'm talking about. But I haven't sent that video or shown it to the psychic because before this, he sort of said that he's going to have a break from doing crazy adventures because he wants to build a little bit of money up and I'm kind of dropping this probably in at the worst time but I'm going to do my absolute best because he's my sidekick and it would feel weird not having my sidekick. Every superhero has a sidekick and this is a superhero based adventure for the Rainbow Trust Children's Charity and I generally think that we could do so much together and I want to get everybody on board. The thing of it is I can only hope that using my 11 out of 10 skills talks them into it and there's no guarantee at the minute, so yeah, <laughs> wish me luck. I've been pushing away everybody I love. I don't know what to do, need a sign from above. I just want to be somebody who knows who knows how to behave but I'm not even close won't you save 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 okay so my plan of it is right to sell it to the sidekick to get him to get on board first thing I'm gonna do is offer to pay for breakfast sort of charm him into it sort of sort of slowly sell it and then I'll tell him about my big idea <laughs> I really want him to come so it's just this is all the stops are coming out for this one all the stops this is like negotiation for world peace it's gonna work out it's gonna happen right so I've got a plan to meet him so that's where we're going to be headed to first I hope he's in a good mood because he gets hungry and I've told him to meet me for a bit of a, a bit of food so I'm hoping he doesn't start off on the bad foot and I also know he went out last night with his missus for uh, for a meal but normally uh, ends up being lots of alcohol so he's probably gonna have a thick head so this is probably the worst time to do it but this is the only time I can get him and me free this weekend so <laughs> here we go let's go and meet him well, I've arrived at the location I agreed to meet the sidekick and this is this is going to be interesting. So here we go. Well, sidekick, yeah. Darren, I'll be nice, right? I'm going to buy breakfast. So it's nice for you to meet me and I'm going to buy you a breakfast. Me and you, go and grab something. It won't be expensive. I'm taking you to McDonald's, but we're going to go and get a breakfast, get a cheeky ride together. It's going to be a good day, isn't it? What do you want? What do you mean, what do I want? Well, you're after something, aren't you? No, not at all. I yeah. want to buy you breakfast. I want to be nice. It's unbroken. No, it's actually not really. If it's making a noise, but it's not broken. It's always made a noise. No, there's nothing wrong with, with my van. There's nothing wrong with my new bike. It's under warranty. The monkey bike hasn't been smashed up. I haven't seen you for a week. It's a long time. We're like brothers from another mother. So I'm going to pay for you for breakfast. Something's going on here. There's definitely something going on. I've got a big plan. We'll jump on the bikes and I'll tell you all about it. Right. Right, buddy, you can pick whichever McDonald's you like. We've got three. You pick your favourite because this is about you today. Are you worrying me? No, not at all. I just want to treat you for all the, all the help that you've given me over, yeah. the, over the years. I'm going this way and you're, uh, you're starting to scare me. 
Well, I tell you what, we'll get a beer, we'll get on this main road, and I'll, uh, I've got a good idea, that's all, a really good idea, and I want to share it with you. Right. And then, obviously, your expertise, um, you can tell me what you think. Right. You're trying to rope me into something again, aren't you? No, not at all. Yeah, sounds like it. So, are you ready for my big eye, big idea? I mean, this is life-changing idea, to be fair. Right, okay, come on then. My plan, my idea, right, and again, you don't have to come along to this at all in any way, but it would be really good if you did. Um, what I'm going to do, right, I'm going to buy the biggest capacity CC bike I can for less than a grand, and I'm thinking, like, Goldwing, uh, Pan, a European, maybe a Vulcan 1500, something huge, right? Right. And then what I'm going to do is, I'm going to ride it a big distance. I mean, for less than a grand, do you reckon we'll get our hands on, oh, well, I'll say I, because you've not agreed yet, but I'll say we, we'll get our hands on some awesome big bikes. You want to buy the cheapest, roughest, biggest bike you can, that's probably going to break down, um, and ride it where? Well, <laughs> now, the thing of it is, right, have you ever seen the compass? Yeah, of course I've seen the compass. And do you do it like I do? Do you go, never eat shredded wheat? Yeah, that's what everybody does, don't they? Yeah. Have you ever seen the map of the UK? Yes. And it's quite big, isn't it? I mean, we've driven nine and a half. It took us 11 something in the end, didn't it? Just to get to our campsite up in Scotland from where we live. So you, you've seen a map of the UK? Yeah. Imagine plonking a compass on top of the UK, right? And then driving to the northest point, and then to the westest point of the compass, and then to the southest point of the compass, and then to the eastest point of the com compass, on right. a beautiful, large, knackered old big bike. How about that? Right, well, do you want me to follow you in the van or something? Well, to be honest, that's probably not a bad idea. No, I'm thinking, I'm thinking we both buy less than a thousand pound bikes. Imagine how cool that would be, buying something that our granddads would have ridden. But I'm still putting back together the last rubbish bike that I bought, and you always go and buy another rubbish bike that's probably going to need rebuilding again. No, I'd, I'd rather you don't buy one in bits this time, because I do, I have a time scale to what I want to do. So, right. bear with me, right? So we're going to buy these amazing machines that we're going to buy, these old babies that are going to be tender, delivered, cared for. They're going to be high mileage, probably smoke a lot, things hanging off of them, spit seats, yeah. Maybe. And, but the thing of it is, then we're going to ride them the thousands and thousands of miles around the UK. But it gets better. It gets better. We're going to do that, right, in less than a week. Right. Absolutely not. I do. It's just going to be entire days in the saddle. And it'll be comfortable. There'll be like armchairs by the time we finish with, with them. You'll be able to have a cocktail, right? And probably cook yourself a hot dog while you're going along. And we can even get you one of those little peapots. Or we can get you waterproof like seat so it just dribbles off the side. Right. Dude, it'll be amazing. No, it won't. It will, it'll be fantastic. I'll tell you what else we're going to do, right? To make it even better, right? We're going to go like superheroes. Now, think of it like this. I'm, superheroes? Yeah, I'm the Batman of the channel. I always have been, right? And you're the Robin. And obviously, all good Batman need Bat women, I mean, uh, Robins. And I, you're my sidekick. So we'll go and buy these less than £1,000 motorcycles. We'll superhero them so they look absolutely out of this world. Like a comic book, right? Me as Batman, you as Robin, together. Did you, did you go on a little trip to Amsterdam last week or something? No, I would like to go though. I've heard that it's got lovely cafes. Yeah, I think, I think you've still already been and been in one of these cafes and you've been having a daydream. I think it's well, a... Just the superheroes, right? Cheap crap motorbikes, uh, and smiles. Yeah, pretty much. And on top of it, we've got to get around the UK, obviously, within that week. So we're going to have to seriously knuckle down and hammer the mileage down. It doesn't sound like fun at all. Well, to be honest, it's going to be a challenge. I'm not going to lie. We are going to get knackered. We're going to be exhausted. We're going to 
Yeah. We're gonna, it's going to cost a bit of money because obviously we've got to find places to stay um, and the fuel. Um, but it will be good. I'll tell you what else we're going to do. We're going to go, hopefully, when it's warm. So in probably early summer, if not late summer. We won't go when all the school holidays are on, when it's dead expensive. We'll go before or after. Less than a week. Superhero bikes. Me and you. And I'll tell you what else. I'm going to invite everybody that wants to come along to come along. So it'll be like a rally. So we'll give a postcode and we'll travel thousands of miles to get that, that postcode. I don't know, you're still not selling it to me, mate. I could think of a lot better things to do, to be honest with you. Yeah, but you've got a spare grand, right? Oh, I haven't. Well, you've got loads of time. So I've given you until summer to basically save up, pick yourself a bike, and, you know, I know what you're like. You'll find one on, on Facebook. It's, it's, it's a maximum of a grand. I mean, you could buy one for 150 quid. All right. It's just got to be MOT working, road worthy, and be able to do a, a good few thousand miles. That's all. It's just, I don't know where you get these stupid ideas from. It just sounds ridiculous. Well, it will be, yeah. It's going to be a challenge. It's going to be nuts. And even better, we could potentially dress as different superheroes throughout all the trip. You could be Wonder Woman. Is this like a little dream you had the other night or something? And then you got out of bed and you went, oh, that's a good idea. I know. Well, we'll, we'll go and do that. Kind of. I kind of like, I want to push this channel to the extreme. And I think 2022 is going to be an incredible year. And this could be an incredible thing to do. And I know that all the people that support this channel and other people will get involved to do this. Because who does not want, I mean, think of it like this, right? You could sit there in front of the telly. You could, you could do, be doing a bit of Netflix and chills with some lady. Or what you could be doing instead of watching the telly, a lot of people watch us on telly on our adventures, right? Could you imagine doing it? I mean, actually being part of something incredible and doing it. Actually being there. No. <laughs> you love it. You love our adventures. So, it just doesn't sound like much fun. Are you going to come along? No. Is that a definite no? Uh, def definite no. Right. I'll tell you what, I'll let you buy me breakfast first. Because obviously I still want you to buy me breakfast. So I'll say I'm thinking about it until you bought me breakfast. I'll tell you what, I'll buy you, right, a double sausage and egg McMuffin, and then we'll talk. Okay. Yeah? All right. Let's get there. All right. He must be mad if he thinks I'm going to do this stupid challenge with him. Um, it's just ridiculous why anybody would want to put themselves through that. I have no idea. I don't know what he's been smoking, but I'm having no part of it. Kakis. You ready? Yeah. Always have a free breakfast. All right. Red. Psychic. Red. Napkin. Keep yourself, you know, having posh breakfast. Okay. Buying your posh breakfast. There's a half splattered food. What have you done with that? Have a word with them, not me. There you go. That's not what I asked for. That's what you got. This is no good way of trying to talk me into doing something, is it? <laughs> yeah, I know, but you can go back in if you like and ask for some else. That's a breakfast roll. That's not what I asked for. Never mind, that'll be alright, won't it? Look at the state of it. Hey, but it, it's... Did you just chuck that on the floor as you came out? Kicked it around a bit? It didn't look like that in the picture. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. Anyway, I'm going to have the one that's not splattered. I want someone who can please me. I want somebody who cares. I need a lover who never leaves me. I need somebody who cares. I've been searching my life, I just couldn't find it. A special someone to give me my heart. I've been searching my life, but then I found it. Now I won't let you out of my sight. Well, dude. Yep. First breakfast on me, probably the last. That was tasty, though. Even if you, I picked you the wrong thing, but you still enjoyed it. Yeah, it was alright. Don't turn food down, especially free food. Free food. Right, let's go, dude. Oh, I feel fat now. I feel like I've got the muck belly. You know, when that point when you've eaten it and five minutes later you desperately want to go for a poo? <laughs> yeah, it goes straight uh, through you. 
it does, doesn't it? It's lovely. It's basically like if you're constipated, just go to McDonald's. Yeah. Pretty much. Anyway, dude, let's get going. So, I bought you breakfast. I've told you about my master master plan. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be probably the best, biggest, epic, most world adventure ever Good been made. So, yeah. the biggest thing of it is now, have you changed your mind now you've had a bit of food? Uh, no. You seriously don't want to come on the best, biggest, ever, coolest adventure in the entire world? Doesn't sound like a very cool adventure. But mate, less than a thousand pound bites, the compass of the UK. As I've had superheroes. I've had experience of buying less than a thousand pound bikes, haven't I? And they're not very good. Yeah, but the whole point of it is, will they make it? Probably not. Well, we've got you, haven't we, if they break? No, well, I'm not going. <laughs> you are? I'm not. You are? Not. You are? No. I tell you what. Oh. We'll pull over, look me in the eye, I'll say one more thing, and then if you don't want to go, you don't have to go. Alright, okay. Alright, let's do that. Find a place to pull over, boy. I wanna do it all with you by my side. If you're in, meet me here tonight. Be brave and come along, I'll be alright. Promise we don't need no break lights. We can travel the world, so just say yes. Choose to do whatever comes next Well, Psychic, we've had a nice, lovely ride together. Yeah. We've had breakfast. I've told you about my big idea, and I know you keep saying no, but let me tell you the most important thing of all, the reason why this bonkers idea is going to be amazing. Right. Because we're doing this for the Rainbow Trust Children's Charity. So we're doing this for seriously ill and terminally ill kids to support them and their family and it would be an honour if you came along. Will you do it? Can't say no cow now, can I? Yeah, of course I will. I'm in. You're in? Yeah, let's so, do it. Less than a thousand pound bikes. Yeah. We've got many months at this point to get the money together to make this the biggest thing in the world. We're gonna invite everybody along. Anybody that wants to be part of it can be part of it one way or another. They can just link the charity, tell people what they're doing for it. They're just giving pages down in there. Me and you, Batman and Robin, day one, this is going to be absolutely awesome. Welcome aboard. <laughs> okay, so we have a plan. The Psychic's on board. Like I said, a thousand pounds or less bikes. Now, if you've already got a bike and you can't afford one for a thousand, you can bring it, but please bear in mind, it's going to be massive miles. They're still not a perfectly set date. We're looking to it early summer and if not late summer, but I will get that sorted as quickly as I can. But you've got time to be part of it. You've got time to sit there and say, this is what I'm going to do. And it's going to be an adventure and a half. And I can't wait. So ladies and gentlemen, together, let's make this the biggest charity trip in record on Motorcycles Day. I hope everybody in the biking community gets behind this and we just make it incredible because we can do something together that's really, really special. Think about me one more time before you go Someday you'll know Someday you'll know and you know what I'm going to say I've been feeling this way for far too long 